Alright folks, Rich Van Tassel right back with you. The Celtics complete the six-game sweep. Yes, that's right. It is a six-game sweep. The Celtics won four straight after losing the first two. It's not this gentleman's sweep crap that anyone talks about. It's a legit sweep. It just happened in six games. <laughs> so that's the end of it. Uh, they hammered the Bulls in this one. We're up 54-41 to 41 at halftime, blew it open in the third quarter. Uh, Isaiah Thomas only had 12 points, played 26 minutes. Look at these plus minuses, though. Plus 26 for Avery Bradley, 23 points on 9 of 12 shooting. As we said, plus 25 for Thomas, uh, 12 points on 4 of 11 shooting. Al Horford, plus 26, 12 points, 5 of 5 shooting, 7 assists, 6 rebounds as well for Horford. Gerald Green, plus 24, 6 of 13 shooting, 3 of 8 from behind the line. Jay Crowder, hopefully he can find uh, his offense and his rhythm, and a game like this will allow him to do so. Plus 27, 12 points, 4 of 8 shooting, as we said, 3 of 6 from downtown. They needed threes. The Celtics all together, they love those 3-point shots, 16 of 39. And again, I say this, people want to act like the Celtics have absolutely zero chance against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Not if they hit their 3-point shots, folks. You, you don't lose many games that you hit 16 of 39 three-point shots. I mean, that's why this team can be dangerous. Uh, not really much for the bench, and they logged a lot of minutes. Rozier led, led the way with nine points. Uh, as for the Bulls, look at their, I mean, as you would expect, their minuses in this one. Nikola Mirtic, five points, minus 28, to a four shooting. Jimmy Butler, 23 points, minus 29 of 17 shooting. Ten points for Robin Lopez. Only 5 rebounds, minus 17 shooting. Isaiah Cannon, 9 points, 3 of 5 shooting, minus 28. Dwayne Wade, and I, I just have never liked Dwayne Wade. I'm glad to see him go down like this. 2 points on 1 of 10 shooting. Dwayne Wade wasn't such a flopper. I might have more respect for the guy, but I just, I mean, going back to his Miami days, 2012 Eastern Conference Finals, I can't respect a man who flops the way that he does. A lot of bench scoring for the Bulls, but no one in the bench was in double figures. As you would expect, a lot of minutes logged in a game that was a blowout. 24-17 uh, fourth quarter, got it to 22 points. So the Celtics were just hammering them all game long. Celtics, of course, now moving on to play the Washington Wizards. That gonna be, that's going to be an interesting series. A lot of bad blood there. Uh, I want to see the Celtics. I don't really have anything against the Washington Wizards. I like John Wall. Um, you know, I, I like Bradley Beal a little bit, but I really like John Wall. I'm not getting into the reasons why I want the Celtics to hammer the Wizards as far as because those teams have bad blood. I really don't care about that. Frankly, if the Wizards was playing anyone else, I'd probably be, you know, rooting for the Wizards. And even if this wasn't the scenario, I wouldn't be worried about them or uh, rooting for them to get pounded. I want the Celtics to hammer the Wizards because I want Stephen A. Smith and all the naysayers to finally acknowledge that the Celtics are the second best team, if not the best team, in the Eastern Conference. Again, I, I still think the Celtics can make a run to win the Eastern Conference because of the three point shooting. People may agree, disagree, whatever the case may be. But I just want them to hammer uh, Washington because Stephen A. Smith has been completely disrespectful to the Boston Celtics. And, you know, I've gone into Stephen A. Smith, what I think of him now. He's just become a show clown. I was saw him, saw him today on first take. Uh, you know, he's, he's just a show clown. He used to be a respectable journalist, but... Uh, you know, I guess when he got paid all that money by first take to act like a fool and to just, you know, repeat the same one note Charlie lines all the time, you know, he became a, a sideshow and just a, a show clown. But that is what it is, so we'll see what that is moving forward. Isaiah Thomas is traveling to Seattle. They just showed him he was leaving the game early, has to attend the funeral of his sister, and then that fly all the way back to Boston for game one, which is going to be an early tip on Sunday. So look for that. We'll go into the previews of it. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the previews because we still have the Clippers and the Utah Jazz tonight. So I'll have to figure that out because that um, series may extend to seven. But be sure to stay tuned for those as well, the previews of the next round of the playoffs because everything else is set uh, apart from that series. So we'll I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out for you folks, how, what we're going to do. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably stay up. It's Saturday tomorrow. I'll stay up to watch the Clippers and the Jazz most likely. Got the draft.